Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Shay. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Gotta exhale on this one. First, first, first order of business is shout out to all of my new subscribers, everyone, all of my lovely, 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 be beautiful, 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 can't even get it out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friends who have shared my last video. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback about, about the video and I'm so, so grateful that you have shared it. I'm so, so grateful that you found it helpful. So let's get into our new topic today. Signs that your situationship is not going to turn into a full-fledged relationship. Whew. Exhale on that. So today, because we got to get down to business, y'all. I have my uh, drink in my special glass, the S glass, right? I have in here what I have, um, fruit punch and uh, ginger ale, okay? On ice. Let's take a sip. Put me on pause if you need to. Put me on pause. Go get your favorite snack. Go get your favorite beverage. We we just going to luxuriate today because we got to dissect this. Now, just to give you a little bit of background about me, I am single. I've been single for a very long time. I've had several relationships and I've had several situationships, okay? So you ain't speaking to somebody who ain't been out here, <laughs> okay? I've been out here. All right, and oh, y'all, look. You see, I took that sip and it's no red lipstick on my um glass. No red lipstick. That's because that is um liquid lipstick. So when you go out, like if you got, when we get back out on the town, our single ladies, and we go out on our dates and stuff, to preserve our cute, we're going to put on that liquid lipstick. This one's by Matt. Can't remember the name. If you want it, um, just uh, comment down below, and I'll tell you what it is, because y'all know I'm not funny like that. Okay. <laughs> Exhale. Let's get into it. Y'all. First sign number one. Okay, first, before I get into the signs, let's define a situationship. A situationship is different than friends with benefits. I think that that was a term that was out there before um, in the dating world. And it really was just people who were engaging um, in a sexual relationship only. Okay. A situationship is different because a situationship is really nothing but a relationship without the title. That's basically all it is. You can meet family, you can meet friends, you can meet children, you can be at events, you could be doing a whole lot of stuff and still be in a situationship. So let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. First sign, sign number one, these are signs that it's not going to turn into a full-fledged relationship, okay? And if you are a person who likes situationships, hey, you may be divorced. You may, you know, be recently single. You just don't want to commit like that. I get it. I understand. I've been there. This is for my ladies who, God, the accent on this one too, who are single and who are pursuing, or who are dating and they have a immense desire to be in a relationship and they're thinking that this situationship is going to turn into that. So this is more directed for that audience. If that audience is not you, you know, every day may not be, every video may not be on your street. If this is not on your street, but it was in your neighborhood, please shoot it over to somebody who you think may benefit because we about to get into this. We about to get into this. Okay, let's get it. Let's go. First sign. They don't like titles. Mm -mm. They don't like titles. They don't like titles. They don't like to be questioned. When you ask them too many questions, they are annoyed. And to be honest with you, this is male and female. So this could be a female doing this to a male. A woman doing, I don't like to say those female, male. It could be a woman doing this to a man, okay? Um, or, you know, I'm speaking from men who I've been in situationships with. So I can speak from a woman who dates men, but it could be woman, woman, it could be man, man, could be whatever, whatever the case is, people are people at the end of the day. And no matter what, if you're single, if you're not, you know what you have a desire for, okay? And what I mean by that is if you're single and you're like, hey, I just need to do me right now. I got to focus on getting my money up. Um, you know, working on my career, building my brand, and I'm just really not looking right now, you know, and then you could say, hey, you have someone to say, hey, I have been single for a long time. I'm ready to get out there. I'm ready to see what's going on or I'm ready. I'm ready to get married. You know, 
you as a person, you know what you want. You know what you want for your life. And I think it's very important to remember that when you go into meeting people and dating people, people know what they want. They can, they can articulate what it is that they want. Okay. Even if it may not be with you, um, or the last person they dated, but the fact is you have a desire to either be single, married, mingling or something you have, you know what it is that you, that you want. Okay. So number one, they don't like titles. They don't like to be questioned. Forget about it. Okay. And every time, you know, you ask, um, which brings me into quite the, uh, sign number two. If you have to ask the question, where is this going? Not a good sign. <sighs> Exhale, take a deep breath on that. Because a person, take a sip. Because a person who is serious about you and serious about what it is that they want, they say that. They articulate that. They will have no problems answering your questions. They will have no problems saying, you know, what the title is or whatever. Even if, hey, it's friends and I'm not looking for nothing else. You got to respect somebody that says that, right? And it's not your job to change their mind because you like this person or you're tired of looking. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, they said that, but I think I can change their mind. You're not changing people's minds. Normally, if they don't see that in you, they don't see that to you. I know that may hurt. I know it may hurt, but we got to get these lessons in order to be better and not bitter. Because that's one surefire way of getting bitter is having a sour relationship. Let that relationship be sour. <laughs> you will get bitter so fast. Okay. All right. Number two. And then you become unattractive to the people who you need to be dating. You know what I mean? We need to be out here dating, seeing what's going on. All right. So number two. They are inconsistent with their contact to with you and their feelings. So one minute they could be like, oh, you know, yeah, you know, I love you. You know, because really, honestly, these situationships can go on for years. So love can build, you know, so I love you. You know, you know, I love you. You know, I do anything for you and da, 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 da. you'll do anything for me. But give me a title brings me back to number one. So these all kind of go together. Okay. And they're inconsistent with their contact. You could be hot like fire one day. Oh, yeah. And that's because in a situation, you have to understand you are in rotation. That hurt. Take a sip if you need to. That hurts. <sighs> you are a part of a squad. You are part of a squad. You are like um, basketball. And I'm not even a sports person, but I know enough to say this. So they take basketball, for instance. You could have that star player. That star player, that player that's making all those layups, you know, and all of that. And they get a lot of time. They get a lot of time in the game. However, however, they got other people on the bench. And if you get injured or they just don't, they just want to try something different that day, they're going to pull somebody off the bench and you're going to sit down. The star player plays a lot, but the star player doesn't play all the time. You got to understand that. And sometimes when we get in situationships, that's how we get to compete as women or as people. That's where competition comes in. And let's talk real here. Let's talk real here. Everybody's trying to get picked. Everybody wants to be um, the apple of somebody's eye. Okay. And you want to be able to discredit or, oh, oh, I got this. Oh, oh, mm. no. Cause I went to the family cookout. I went to Thanksgiving. I went to Christmas. His mama know me, his, um, his father know me. I call his mother, ma. <sighs> Deep breath on it. It doesn't matter. That doesn't mean you're not in rotation. You understand what I'm saying? If somebody's not defining what it is, you're, you're not, you're in rotation period. Okay. All right. Also, too, the signs that it's not turning into a full-fledged relationship. You feel like they've changed. All of a sudden, they started off hot. Oh, they started off hot. Calling you every day, texting you all day. You at work. Um, and, oh, yeah, you know, let's go do this. Let's hang out. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then you be feeling like, oh, yeah, this is good. And, and you get used to having that person around. You get used to, and you start to build a bond. You start to build a bond. So you're like, oh, this is good. Then all of a sudden, don't know how this happens. It's like all of a sudden they start pulling back. And then you're like, oh, something must be wrong because they normally get up with me. Guess what? 
is changing now. Dynamics changing now. We got another player that came in, new, fresh to the league. Oh, the fresh ones to the league. We got to get them to play because we need to know what position. We need to know what their strengths are. So we got somebody fresh to the league, okay? They coming in, they doing whatever, you know? Also, too, then you go through this emotional. So let's bring us into number four. You go through an emotional roller coaster. You up. Then, whew, then that, then up, uh, 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 then that, you know, then you going through loops. You feel very unstable emotionally. You don't feel good. You don't feel confident. You got to understand someone who wants a relationship, you are going to feel confident. You're going to feel confident. Oh, I know he's going to be here. Dependability, reliability will tell you everything and consistency. Someone who's consistent. That's what you want. My mother used to tell me, my parents were married for 50 years prior to my mother passing away. They just made 50. Okay, so I was raised by a wife. So in a way, that's kind of hard for me not to act like a wife when I'm in a dating season. Whew, exhale on that. I don't know if that's your story. But the thing is, is that you got to pace yourself. And my mother said all the time, she used to tell me, she said, you don't want fireworks. You don't want something boom, boom, boom. You're feeling ah, 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 all, you know, good. She said, you want a candle. You want a slow, steady flame because it's got to last. Fireworks is exciting. It feels amazing, which these situationships do. They don't feel bad. That's why people keep getting into them. You think they feel bad? They don't feel bad. They feel good. They make you feel good. You like the person. You love their energy. Y'all work well together. All of this stuff. This is not like... Something that's that's not working. The one, the thing that's not working is the toxicity of you not getting what you want. That's what's not working. But my mother used to work it. That's what my mother used to tell me all the time. Slow, steady flame. Okay. Whew. Let's bring into number five, social media. Social media, they may or may not follow you. A lot of times, if they don't see a relationship with you, they not going to follow you. Don't follow them if they not following you. Let them make the first move on that follow, okay? All I'm saying is when they're following, and even if you follow each other, that doesn't really mean a whole lot anyway, but when they specifically don't follow you, and y'all spend a lot of time together. That is a sign. That is a sign. And I'm gonna tell you why we gotta why we gotta really look at this. Because if if you are not getting what you want, it's not worth it. And see, when you're in this for a long time, you'll realize that. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want a relationship. You know, oh girl, you know, your friend could say to you, "Hey, what's going on with you and um." You and David, let's use the name. What's going on with you and David? You know, I know, you know, y'all hanging out, y'all doing whatever, you know, y'all, you know, taking it to the next level. When you get a certain age, people asking you, y'all getting married, people asking that. You over 35 and dating, they asking that. They are asking that question. So you're like, well, we doing good, you know, we're doing this, we're doing that. And then she'd be like, girl, but don't you want to be married? Yeah, but he said he not, he's not ready, you know. He not even really ready to commit um, as being my man or woman, whatever. They're not ready. And then, you know, you say, but don't you want to be married? You be like, you know, but it ain't that important to me. It's just really about loving who you with. You know, girl, you know, it's just really about loving who you with. Loving who you with. Take a sip. Guess what it's about? You changing your mind because you love that person. You have a, you have developed a soul tie with that person and they have gotten you to change your desires on what you want. Don't let nobody or no situation, don't let loneliness, don't let anything keep you from getting what it is that you desire from life. Okay, because it's going to be ups and downs, but there's going to be that day. There's going to be that day where you're going to be glad you didn't give up. There's going to be that day when you're going to be like, thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers. There's going to be that day. This is the reason why God had me wait. It's going to be that day when it's all revealed. Okay, so if you love situationships, I get it. I understand. I've been there. But if you want something more and you've always wanted something more and you've just been trying it out and seeing how things are going to go. 
and you've been exercising such patience with the person, remember this, you are not an afterthought. You are not a second thought. Oh, I'll think about, oh, when I'm tired of doing this, I'll get in this with you. You ain't waiting on that. It could be somebody out there waiting on you. There is somebody out there waiting on you. That's why we over here on this journey becoming better, not bitter, because it's, it's, it's a whole partner out there waiting for you. It's money out here waiting for you. It's peace of mind out here waiting for you. Let's get it. Let's go. I know this video was kind of long, y'all, but we had to dissect this. We had to dissect this because too many people are going through this and sitting through this and it don't have to be. Okay. It don't have to be. <sighs> Y'all know my spiel. I hope this has inspired you. I hope this message finds you blessed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Y'all know all week on my Instagram, I'll be talking about whatever topic I talk about in my YouTube video. So this week we'll be talking about relationships and situationships and making sure that you have the strength to be able to go after what it is that you want. God got something good for you, boo. God got something good for you. And I know you probably like, girl, it's been forever. That don't mean it ain't coming. Sometimes we got a clean house. And as long as you keep this person in your space and you want to be married and they're expressing to you that they don't want to be, not coming. Somebody in your parking spot. Anything that doesn't align and, and, and is in, in, line, in alignment with what you want out of life, let it go. Let it go. Okay. I love y'all. And I'll see you all in my next video. Be blessed.